Hello, my name is Jay, and I've been doing a lot of research on this uh, 2080, I guess, and the 2070, and all these cards that are supposed to come out in the next uh, NVIDIA uh, series. And I was really surprised to find out that um, these cards aren't actually going to be running the Tesla architecture, as everybody's assumed. They are going to be running a uh, architecture called Ampere, which we're not too sure, looking online and stuff, we're not too sure about, you know, the what we're supposed to expect there's going to be a, you know, rundown of, you know, modified Tesla architecture or not. But the main reason why I know Tesla, as in the Titan X, was, uh, Titan V, sorry, um, was not utilized is simply because their tensor cores in there are just good for AI. You don't really need a massive amount of AI in a graphics card for gaming, and which is fine. Also, this card is supposedly rumored to be around... Um, it's going to basically having DD, GDDR6 uh, video memory, uh, and the lower model cards will have the uh, GDDR5X memory. So what we're expecting is, if you're out there and you're looking at this video and you're like, hey, I'm a crypto miner, and I'm not trying to be rude on these people, I mean, I'm just trying to go at uh, everybody. Crypto miner, you have uh, probably, you're probably looking at beginning, end of this year to the um, beginning of next year, 2019, when the cards, the top tier cards like the 2080 Ti, which I'm still trying to get used to saying, will be releasing. And that's when you'll be able to get the best for your money pretty much in, as maximum raw power. We're also probably expecting, if it's anything like the last couple generations, and as NVIDIA has been posting on, you know, their slideshows at the trade shows and stuff, it should be around 30 to 10 percent better than the current uh, market. But if you have like a high-end graphics card right now, maybe you have like a 1080 Ti like I do, you're not going to be really facing any big competition um, until when they start releasing the 2080 and the 2070, which will be probably releasing somewhere around April to June is when you should expect those cards to start rolling out. Um, that's of course all speculation and that is what the best um, just the culminating uh, of what the internet is suggesting and what everybody is, you know, expecting, I guess. The final thing, though, is if you're out there, and as I said, if you're looking to get these cards to mine on them or you want to get something for gaming, this will probably lower the older generation's prices substantially. Pretty much, you'll be a lot better off getting an older card if you're a gamer, and the newer cards um, will be more of, of course, for people that are crypto mining or just want the high-end stuff, which I can only imagine with the crypto mining currency issue as it is with the low supply, um, I can only imagine how difficult it will be in the next year when everybody goes for these new cards. You'll have a lot of old cards available for everybody. So the final thing I also want to say is, is that pretty much if you're interested in getting one of these, I just say hold out because um, they'll, they'll be probably April is when you should expect these cards to come out and it just depends on what the market does at the time and I've already made videos trying to explain that you know graphics cards will go down because NVIDIA is amping production which I don't know how true that is they might be amping production of the new cards and not really the old ones why we're still in this you know graphics card drought um, and I've also been making videos about Samsung kind of making specialized chips for this as well but the big final thing is basically I just wanted to make this video explain what we should ex be expecting a general idea um, as I said it's all speculation so it's not fact but it is highly likely that this new card will be coming out definitely this year. Um, I think it's most likely to say it'll be a 20-something card. And um, you should be expecting if you have a 1080 Ti, the 10, uh, 2070 or the 2080 should be what is an equivalent of a 1080, current 1080 Ti. So if you're out there and you know, you're thinking about upgrading your system, um, you probably should wait till the end of the year. Uh, that's when the 2080 Ti, still getting used to saying that, will be coming out, and that's when you can expect to get the top for your money. Uh, I will say those, those cards will most likely go fast if the crypto market is anything like it currently is. So if you enjoyed this video, this is not what I originally had planned to do today. Um, so I uh, apologize for everybody who's waiting for the um, calling up the Craigslist scammers. I'll be doing that tomorrow, uh, doing some more calling, calling up those Craigslist, Craigslist scammers about those super cheap graphics cards. But I hope you enjoyed today. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, I'm sorry. And uh, check out the channel if you're interested in computer modding, calling up some scammers, and yeah, pretty much stupid stuff that you do to computers. But thank you for watching. Goodbye.